guys, this is Hydra from X Trades, and today I'm going to be going over um, basic principles to be a successful trader in terms of trading psychology. So, the first point is that you don't, you really don't need to know what is going to happen in the markets to make money, right? You don't have to predict stuff to make money. In fact, if you're predicting stuff, there's a good chance you're most likely just gambling. You can ask the best traders in the entire world and they'll tell you that they have they truly have no idea what's going to happen in the markets next and the only thing that they focus on is probabilities right the market itself is really one big probability game and to be a profitable trader you need to have a specific edge in the market and by that i mean you need to have a specific setup where you know exactly um, how many times it works and what the average risk reward ratio is when um, it works or when it doesn't work, right? So for example, let's say you have, <clears throat> let's say you have a setup, right? Uh, let's say this is a bull flag setup and this is the only thing that you trade. Um, and let's say that you are correct 50% of the time. So every time you take this trade, on average you're around, or you're, this trade ends up working out 50% of the times. And on average, <clears throat> you're, every time this is right, you're um, making $2. And every time you're wrong, let's say you're losing $1. So your risk reward ratio is $1 to $2, right? Every time you're right, you're making 2 Every time you're wrong, you're losing 1 And you're right um, about 50% of the time. So this is all you need to be a profitable trader, right? You need to, f you need to find a specific edge. And by edge, I just mean a specific uh, setup that you trade over and over again so in this example i chose a bull flag but it can be whatever um that you trade and um a good way to think about it is it's like a coin flip right let's say there's <clears throat> let's say there's a 50 percent chance for heads and tails for every coin flip but let's say every time it lands on heads um you make two dollars every time it lands on tails you lose one dollar right so once you want to flip that coin again and again and again um that's all trading really is uh, it's about finding a specific edge and just repeating that one setup again and again and again. And um, yeah, so next point, a profitable trade doesn't mean it was a good trade. So if you're following your plan, then it's a good trade. If you're not following your plan, it's a bad trade. That's all it really that's all that really matters. So let's say um, so let's say the stocks at five dollars, you buy you buy the stock. Your stop loss is at four fifty. The stock dips below four fifty, but um you're hoping that it reverses so you decide not to take the stop you, you you decide not to remove the stop loss and not follow your plan right let's say the stock ends up going all the way down to four dollars but it ends up reversing and then um you actually end up uh this trade actually ends up becoming profitable and you sell it at like 515 so you end up uh, making a small profit is this a good or bad trade even though trade even though the trade was profitable this was definitely a bad trade right because um let's say let, let's say this time it worked out but next time this the stock could tank completely right let's say it goes all the way down to two dollars now you have a big loss right and uh rule number one avoid big losses in the markets right you want there's only four things that can happen with every single trade and the four things are a big win a big loss uh, just normal size win, normal size loss, right? These are the four things that can happen in the market. If you're following a stop loss, then you're automatically eliminating a big loss, right? And now these are your only three options that, or these are the only three things that can happen in the market. And that's exactly what profitable traders have. You can only have a big win, a normal win, or normal loss. Normal loss. So, um. Making sure that you're following your stop loss is extremely important, and if you're if you're not following your stop loss, you're essentially just gambling, and that's not something that you want to do. And yeah, that brings me to the third point. So a loss doesn't mean it was a bad trade. So as long as you're following your plan, um, that's fine. Um, and you always have to think in probabilities, right? Anything can happen in the markets. So just because you have a profitable uh, setup doesn't mean it's going to work every single time. In fact, most people, uh, their win rates are actually pretty low. They can go down to as low as like 40%, but they're profitable because they have a good risk-reward ratio. 
Every time they're right, they're making $3, and every time they're wrong, they're only losing $1, right? And you can have a win rate of like 40% and still be profitable. Uh, <clears throat> and some traders have a super high win rate, so let's say like on uh, 80%, but they're risking $5 to make $1, right? So even though you have a high win rate, your risk reward ratio is very bad, so this is not a profitable uh, uh, system so you always want to look to have <clears throat> the key is in the risk reward ratio right you want to have a high uh, you want to be making a, a multiple on your risk for every single trade but most people pay attention to one rate which is which is not as important and um, yeah so the next point you have to be very disciplined and very focused right so most people let one bad trade get to them and that's gonna like that deviates them from their entire process and they just don't follow their plan anymore and things just get out of hand and then one losing position turns into a big loss and then yeah they they end up uh, blowing up their accounts and so yeah the, the key is to always we always be disciplined right always follow your plan no matter what no matter even if you're not even if you're on a losing streak many traders get frustrated right and they end up just saying Nah, this one, this one's gonna reverse for sure. But yeah, you always want to avoid that mindset. And if you're in that mindset, you just need to size down or maybe take a break and just get back into the markets when you're back in sync with the markets, right? The average trader has like an unhealthy mindset and he wants to be all, he, he or she wants to be right every single time, right? He puts too much, he or she puts too much pressure on themselves to be right about their trades which leads them to holding on to losing positions and taking profits way too early off owners. And yeah, ultimately this just leads to more losses than wins. And this is what leads to uh, traders blowing up over time. So <clears throat> again, just to reiterate, you have to be very disciplined and focused. This is what causes 90% of the traders not to make it. Everyone knows what setups are, right? Everyone knows what bull flags are, um, <clears throat> or at least a good amount of people. And many people know how to follow their stop loss plan, but uh, most people can't do that consistently. Most people let um, bad, um, just bad trading periods get to them. Uh, and um, yeah, you just have to make sure that, um, you just have to make sure you're mentally uh, in the right state at all times. And when you're not, you just have to step away from the market and realign yourself when you're uh, back to trading at your best. So. Yeah, the, the, these are like the major principles for trading psychology, and I think um, they're very, very, very important for beginner traders. But yeah, that's pretty much it for all. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video, and thank you guys so much for uh, listening. And uh, yeah, thank you.